Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating behavior of solids and liquids. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Hi, Miss Ray. I'm excited to learn about solids and liquids. Great. Let's start with a fun question. Do you think all substances are made from tiny particles? Hmm, I think so. Like, everything is made up of something, right? Exactly. All materials are made from particles. Now, can you tell me if particles in solids can move around? I don't think they can move. Solids seem pretty still to me. You're spot on. In solids, particles are packed closely together and can't move around. That's why solids keep their shape. Now, what about liquids? Do you think their particles can move? Maybe they can move a little? Like water can flow and change shape? Yes, liquid particles can slide past each other, allowing them to flow and take the shape of their container. Let's think like scientists. If we pour water on a flat surface, what do you think will happen? I think it will spread out and make a puddle. Exactly. Now, let's investigate something interesting. Can some solids behave like liquids? Mm, I guess some can. Like sand can be poured, right? That's right. Solids like sand, flour, and sugar can flow like liquids because they are made up of tiny grains with spaces between them. Let's do a little experiment. If we pour sugar through a funnel, what do you think will happen? I think it will flow through the funnel and into the jar. Perfect. And if we time how long it takes for different solids to flow, we can compare them. Which solid do you think will flow the fastest? Maybe the sugar because it's smooth and small. Good thinking. Observing and timing can help us understand how different solids behave. Now, why do you think we use standard units of measurement, like seconds, to time our experiments? So we can compare our results with others and make sure they're accurate. Exactly. Using standard units helps us ensure our measurements are reliable. Now, can you summarize what we've learned today? Sure. Solids have tightly packed particles and keep their shape while liquids have particles that can move and flow. Some solids, like sand, can act like liquids because they're made of tiny grains. Wonderful summary. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious. And remember, there's always more to discover in science.